As what happens so often when you're tablet weaving, you'll end up with massive twist on the cards. The border cards are constantly twisting in the same direction, and sometimes the inner cards will be over twisting in the same direction. So you end up with massive over twist. Horrible. Okay, so I'm going to show you what you can do to remedy that. So first thing you do is you loosen the tension on your cards. So the warp is a little looser and you want to flip the border cards. Just flip each one. So Z's are S's and S's are Z's. I'm going to do it with the other hand so you can see what I'm doing. You just turn the card the other direction. Then you tighten it back up again so your warp is nice and taut. And you'll keep twisting the cards in the same direction, but they'll now be untwisting, like magic. Now for the inner threads, your pattern, if you keep going, is going to continue getting twisted up. But many of the patterns you do in reverse, and that'll untwist it. So instead of going from row 1 through row 10, you'll go from 10 down to 1, but you also have to do the forwards, backwards, and the backwards, forwards. Are you following me yet? Yeah, this is kind of confusing. Okay, so we'll start at row 10. Now in row 10, all the border cards are going to go forward, just like usual, and cards 4, 5, 6, 7, is that right? 4, 5, 6, 7, and eight. Instead of going forwards, he'll go backwards. And then the rest of the cards will go forwards. So now the forwards are backwards and the backwards are forwards. Hmm. Yeah, we'll do it this way. See how it comes out. It's going to look a little funny, I think. Remember, you're going to end up with that little blob on the side, the little funny lump, because your cards on the edges are changing directions. That's normal. The finer your threads, the less noticeable it becomes. All right. And now, since we did that three picks, we're going to switch. So now the backwards are forwards and the forwards are backwards. and three. Now instead of turning all of the middle cards forwards like we did at the beginning of the pattern, they're all going to be turning backwards. The alternative here is you could flip all of the cards on this pattern and just go through the pattern in reverse. But I'm choosing to do it this way, and you can too. So now those slanted I don't know what you would call them, whirly gigs or almost like an eye, are now slanting the opposite direction. And this will help untwist everything that you've twisted up. And when it gets over twisted in the opposite direction, you switch back to the original. <laughs> 